Sam, uh, I won't take up much of your time. I just left Chase, and he's fine. I thought he deserved it now. Yeah, uh, I didn't. I didn't let myself worry too long. Jason has this gift for self-preservation. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I should be going, but if you need any help moving, just let me know. Okay. Max, thank you. I mean, thank you for coming over like this. I've always appreciated how nice you were to me, and if when you see Jason again. Can you tell him that I'll be out of here in the next day or two, and I, I guess I'll just see him in court then? Yeah, um, I heard uh, Rick subpoenaed you. <sighs> Look, I could have my head handed to me for this, but sometimes you have to go out on that limb. If there's any way that you can look past the breakup, I mean, while you're on the stand... Sam, I'm sorry. It's just, mm -hmm. look, I'm worried about Jason. I guess he's really not here to worry about anymore, is he? Hi. I need your signature. My signature? What for? I'm going to put in a formal request to the judge, and with any luck, you won't have to answer to Rick's subpoena to testify. Wow. On what grounds? Well, obviously, the two of you weren't married, but you did live together for three years, so I'm going to argue that palimony status should entitle you to spousal privileges. Impressive. Really. I thank you for your concern. I am grateful, but I will not need these papers. Here, take it. I fully intend to testify at Jason's trial. I'm going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Go right in. We'll call you when it's your turn. Thank you. <sighs> now, this makes the day perfect. I'm not going to fight with you. Really? You know, Jason is the one with the fight on his hands. And I can't help wondering when this day is over, who is going to end up hurting him the most. On behalf of... So, is Lucky going to be in court? I don't know, we didn't talk about it. Gee, I wonder why. You don't mind. It's a direct feed from the courtroom. So what are you going to say on the stand? Depends on what they ask me. Like, about your relationship with Jason. I'm going to be honest. Good for you. Well, aren't you? Well, the truth could be a problem. Especially in this case, I was on the inside. I know a lot about Jason's work. If I tell the truth, that could be Jason's worst nightmare. I can't believe that things went so wrong between the two of you that you would be willing to hurt the man who has given you so much. Hey, you might want to mind your own business because I don't think you know what kind of crap Lulu has been pulling with Maxie. Samantha is mistaken. The, the bad blonde one is being most unkind to Lulu. You are trying to impress her, aren't you? Can I get a cup of coffee to go? Thanks. You're trying to make Lulu see what a great person you are and how happy she would be with you, but there's no use. No, I disagree most strongly. You can't make somebody love you. Look at all the time I wasted trying to make Jason see. And for what? Nothing. No, no, Stone Cold loves you. No, most. he doesn't. And I finally admitted it to myself. You can't force somebody to love you, no matter how loyal you are or what you're willing to do. Here's your coffee. Bye. Thanks. I wish someone was honest with me about Jason the way I'm being honest with you about Lulu. Look at her. She's using you. Wasting your time. She'll never love you.
Oh, no, not interested. I oh. have news about Jason's trial. Elizabeth is on the stand. Rick wants to know if she ever slept with Jason. Well, to testify by the prosecution. While I waited, I watched on closed circuit television in the witness room. It became clear they weren't going to get to me today, but before I left, I saw Rick grilling Elizabeth on the stand, asking if she'd ever slept with Jason. What did she say? Well, the defense objected, and they were all arguing when I left, but I can only assume that Elizabeth, the paragon of virtue that she is, will admit the truth. The DA's line of questioning leads right to who's Jake's daddy. You'll get everything you wanted. Elizabeth and Jason will both be exposed as liars. No, if you had listened to anything that I had ever said, you would know that that's not what I want. Right, right. It's all about the baby you can't have. Well, at least little Jake comes out of this a winner. Once the truth comes out, there's nothing to stop Jason and Elizabeth from being together and raising their own child. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, come in. Uh, why... Why'd you want to see me? Get ready to prop up your brother, because it's about to hit the fan. What? What's wrong with Lucky? Well, Lucky is about to find out what kind of a liar he married. The court... DA Lansing has introduced Elizabeth and Jason's personal relationship. In Look, the Amelia, there's no reason to sugarcoat it. Nicholas knows all about what they did last summer. Amelia was at the courthouse, and she couldn't wait to run over with all the gory details. She's good that I, way. I'm sorry, this isn't something I care to discuss with a stranger, oh. so if you could... Privacy isn't an option at this point. Elizabeth is about to admit under oath that she's intimately involved with Jason. By the end of the day, the whole town will be dishing about it. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, no doubt you'll want to comfort poor Lucky. Oh, someone needs to. Please, go. How much does she know about Okay, I, I made the mistake of confiding in Amelia. I wanted the truth to come out a long time ago, but I didn't want to mess with Lucky's sobriety. But it's time. The truth needs to come out. Is Lucky Spencer still in court? Yes, sir. They're all still in there. Okay, that means Elizabeth is probably still in the stand. Well, we don't know that. Look, I'm sorry, but when Lucky walks out of here, he may need a friend. He may not have a wife anymore. Elizabeth testimony shouldn't be taken. It's going to take as long as it takes. I know, I just, I, I don't understand how Rick can do this. I mean, he, he claims to have loved Elizabeth at one point in his life, and now he's forcing her to swear in open court that she was unfaithful to Lucky. What? Elizabeth didn't waste any time, did she? She ran to you to shut you up? Were you following her I'm around? a pretty good con, but I think she's got me beat on this one. Do you even realize what she's pulled off in court today? I don't want to talk about it. Then you can listen, Jason, and ask yourself what'll happen if you finally decide to be a man and step up as Jake's father. You will prove that Elizabeth lied under oath, she'll be sent to prison for perjury, but you will not say anything so you can protect her. You don't even realize you're being manipulated, do you? Make no mistake, she went big in that courtroom today. She made sure you will never be able to claim your son.